you all. Today we'll be discussing the C after Novas, C3PO, and the R2, R2D2 robots. Also known as R2 for short. This presentation was done by Cesar Gori, Andrew Rosado, and me, Vice Pasco. Uh, both of them are from Robinson School and from Next slide. Now, these are, what were these robots created for? For C3PO, Anakin Skywalker was the one who created him in Star Wars Episode 1. He was created out of scrap, out of scrap and discarded by Solid. He did this to be able to help his mother, and he did this when he was only at his home. Also, on um, R2D2, his creator is unknown. But he was found with carrying a ship. And R2D2 was a secret kill of Their real day of creation was in May 27, 1977. Both of these robots, their first appearance was in Star Wars in episode 1, that we hope. It was episode 4, four sorry. Their first appearance was in the very first scene. Now, we have, these are two trilogies in this series. There's the original one, and the prequel. The prequel is it's describing how it was created. And the original is the story of the storyline. Well, John Steers is the one who creates R2D2. He's the sorry, he's the one who designs R2D2. It's the Australian firm Patrick Engineering and the English CNL development who create R2D2. Next week for C3 Hill, his original assignment was for Ralph McQuire and Norman Rangers. These are the people who were originally created and designed these robots for C3. Now, how do they work? The C3PO and uh, later. Okay, uh, C3PO. He was created uh, by uh, Anakin Skywalker, but that's in a film. And uh, how does he work? He uh, he has many communication spots with with into six million languages. Okay, uh, let me just try to noise here. They, and also, uh, C3PO, he uh, used uh, uh, to, uh, his personality, he is, uh, some, he worries, he, uh, make, he, he doesn't make mistakes sometimes. Uh, yeah, he's uh, good to his friends and he has a great, uh, and uh, and uh, okay, so okay, now R two D two. He was uh, he, he. I also forgot to tell you that he there was a protocol droid, but but R two D two. He is an astromech droid, which means he can repair stuff. Uh, he's a co-pilot in the Starship. He re he repairs ships. He uh, has many tools uh, like uh, sensors, arms, and other tools. Like I don't know which are they, but I'll tell you guys uh, in the end. Okay, and and so uh, R two D two. He he also has uh, extinguishing fires. And, and uh, program project uh, projecting hologram and uh, flying. Now uh, you're C three PO and R two D two, and in the movie, you know they they're very good friends. You know they fight a lot, and they had fight a, fought a lot. And they had, and they had, and they had a very great relationship. They were very funny, and, you, and, you can, and people can learn a lot from them from their relationship. Now look at the video. Now uh, you better look at this video, gentlemen. Uh, we're and this is a link to a video that you're gonna enjoy, which is C3. And then. <laughs> Oh, 
was all about it, but it took a person tell you should and daddy always begins with a person telling saying you know, saying him, uh, do you remember R2? Do you, R2, do you remember Anakin and do you remember Darth Vader? And he starts dancing the Imperial March and sings uh, it to him. Um, currently, we're having some technical difficulties with the sound. Please excuse us. Yeah. Thank you. 